the, the foundation of the message of Jesus Christ has to be strong and firm. And if you know the reason why you believe what you believe, that will go a long way to, to showing why this message is so important to the rest of the world. It's hard sometimes to convince people that support work is needed until you come to Papua New Guinea. And then you realize, no, you can't just jump in the car and drive to the next location. There is no road, so you have to fly. When we were first asked to go through the training, I didn't see the importance of it. I'm like, I see the needs on the field. We went for eight months and they were desperate for people. And it's like, but if you make us go into training, we're gonna be two years out of this and they, are, they need us. But we were still asked to come home and do the training. And I think the training really helped me with my beliefs. Understanding grace was huge and the training really gave me a good foundation for that. Yeah, I guess one of the, the sad commentaries of the, the mindset in North America is when I share what God's been doing across the world and how it's been such a joy serving Him there and stuff like that and just, yeah, the different things that I've been experiencing. And then to hear comments like, well, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure 99% that uh, God's not calling me to missions. It's like, well, you're putting God in a box. And God can't begin to use you until you become, until you humble yourself and say, if you were to call me, I'd be willing to go. To be willing, not that God's going to call everyone to foreign missions, but everyone needs to be willing and open to go if God's calling them to go. Well, I think I heard a stat where if every church in North America would just send one couple, we would fill all the needs of mission organizations around the world and reach people. Just one couple from every church. How hard is that? <laughs>